everybody, before you watch the video, make sure you follow the page, like the video, hope you enjoy. An awesome option to attack with in the Z half guard position or the low knee shield position is an arm drag. We stretch our body towards the wrist of the underhooking arm. We use a cross grip and drive our body to the wrist as we pull the arm across our body in front of our hip and we're able to find the back with an awesome arm drag attack. Another great attacking option in the Z half guard position is to belly down arm lock. The same side arm that's under hooking, we're again gonna stretch towards the wrist, but this time we're gonna pivot our hips up on top of the back, drive our shin and knee past the head and our shin on the neck so that we can trap the wrist between our armpit and hip or bring the wrist into a conventional armbar position to finish a powerful armbar. Another very powerful attacking option from the Z half guard position, particularly when our partner puts lots of pressure on our body is to change to a butterfly hook sweep. We pull our top knee close to our chest, making space for the hook to in fit inside. We now elevate and kick with control of the wrist, finishing a powerful hook sweep option. Another option we can use off of a failed hook sweep attempt is a knee tilt sweep. Our opponent steps their leg above their head and shoulders to keep their balance, their free leg. We then grip their free leg and tilt our knees towards their back, tipping them to the bottom and achieving another sweeping option. Another very powerful attacking option in the Z half guard position is a Choi arm lock or a Choi arm bar position where we instead attack the outside arm with a shoulder clamp. We then reposition our top leg over the back, compressing the shoulder down, sandwiching our legs and creating a very powerful arm lock option. Another great variation off of the Choi Bar shoulder clamp position is to enter a knee bar when our partner defends. As we grip the arm and our opponent pulls their arm out of position, they expose their legs for us to grip. And now we're gonna rotate with them, forcing them to the bottom or on the side so that we can attack a powerful knee bar option. Another sneaky option in the Z half guard position is a mere lock, a mere shoulder lock. When we attempt to arm drag, but our partner bends their elbow, creating a bend in their arm, where we can force a twist in their shoulder, causing a powerful shoulder lock, mere lock attack.
Another very powerful option we can find in the Z half guard position is an omoplata shoulder lock attack. Where we punch the neck, isolating the wrist and the arm from the rest of their body. We then reposition our legs to create the omoplata position. Force our partner's shoulder down into the mat by swinging our legs and again twisting the, the wrist behind their back, causing shoulder pressure, finishing the attack. Another very powerful option from the Z half guard position is a triangle choke. Particularly when our partner's shoulders are high, we're able to pull our bottom leg, clear the arm, wrap our legs directly into a triangle and then squeeze to finish. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. If you're interested in more awesome techniques and content, go and check out our, our Instagram page, BJJ101 um, on Instagram. Make sure you give that a follow and also like all the videos, like all the techniques that you're enjoying and we're gonna keep uploading more content.